Yo, what is up, Squirtle Shader crew? This is your boy JD Zero back for another rematch. Um, this is gonna be episode nine. Uh, I just realized when I was like, like going through my stuff again, I kind of got like a little bit confused of how many episodes there were. But we're, we're on we're on the right track. It's uh, it's episode nine. Uh, we do have a. Uh, what was it? What was it called? The uh, this is gonna be rematch number five. So uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of pretty hot today, but it's like my mind's going everywhere. But it is episode nine. This is a rematch number five against Jake here, and I'm assuming he got some more development changes in his team. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so he went back to his Machoke and Pikachu. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting, guys. He went back to his Machoke and Pikachu. That's very intriguing. Um, Now, my option is to go to Zeke first. Because why not? Zeke seems like the optimal choice to doing. Uh... Again, Zeke, I'm just gonna have Zeke like try to do fake up and then try to like paralyze most of his mods. So his, some of his mods could be slower than mine. Um uh, Hopefully that works. Cause why why not, right guys? Why not? Um uh, I don't mind the challenge. Oh, okay. So he leads off. With his uh, Pokemon here, his uh, Machoke, Machoke, Machoke. We're gonna go for a nice, good power, normal gym, power gym thing going on. We're gonna go for the normal gym, beast, normal fake out to get some damage and get some flinching right here. Which he already knows that's what's gonna come through, so he's gonna stay in to stay against that. That's yeah, perfectly fine. We do get the damage. We do get the fake out. We get the flinch. We're going to straight up just gla Dazzling Gleam. We're not going to play around. We're just going to straight up Dazzling Gleam. I think Dazzling Gleam does take the choke out pretty easily without having the stat boost. Alright, alright. We got the first Mon down. That's nice, 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 nice. We're not playing around today. We're not playing around today. Um... So on the other note, uh, while I talk here, because I don't—I mean, knowing the fact that it's like kind of like a speedy battle, um, I just realized that I've been—I I don't normally do like normal type like like typing gems, which kind of sucks for the most part. Uh, the reason why I say that is because. My whole thing about doing a was a potential regular like esque a volt tackle Pikachu, nice. To do a, like a regular style team is a uh, kind of it's kind of annoying for me because if I do it, I will have to like change the rules a little bit to to the gym. But I'm like I always do customize gym. It's just more like okay what team will like I'm pretty sure for me because I like doing mixed Pokemon I like doing mixed typing for my team so for me this like stick to a typing itself I don't know uh, like majority like uh, or because I'm used to I, I could do fighting teams which is not bad I don't mind doing a good occasional fighting team because I don't mind it. Now, again, it's just the uh, how would I do it? Why would I do it? It's not why would I do it, but it's it depends. Cause I again, like if I could still do a mixed typing team, it would just be like a fighting. Like the primary is fighting. And the second typing is flying or something like that or whatever secondary typing. It's like I can still do a mixed typing. It just again 
my general reasoning is, well, how would I do this compared to this? Should I do this compared to that? Should I do this? This yada yada? What will work basically for me? Basically, um, so that's mainly my problem when building teams. Basically, that's generally the basis of it. It's, oh, how would I make this team work? And if I could make the team work, that will be perfect for me. Then I'll make the team work perfectly for me. And normally, I can't make a team work perfectly for me. So, uh, if I do a regular gym typing team, because I know a lot of, uh, I know a lot of uh, people who I join aminos on, literally want me to do uh, middle, uh, like do like actual typing teams which is not bad. I could still do like, I could still do a theme type gym and still have these typings, you know, like a certain type, basically. I don't mind that. I don't mind doing that. Um, again, it's just like from what I've seen, it's just been really ridiculous of, uh, what it's just it's probably because i i need the certain i need to have the pokemon actually you know what better yet i'll do a regular gym leader typing team i just i'll i'll find the right pokemon and then i'll do it and then we then we'll basically fix the issue of that so so you might see me doing regular gym battle-esque teams So J Chen did land a high jump kick taking out one of the rat boots. We're going for another high jump kick on the second rat boot. Did half damage, that's fine. We we're able to like get it down to a certain point. Again, that's fine by me. We we're able to take out two of those. Back to the battle though. <laughs> but um I just again like it's it's just uh we took out Three of our mons, I mean three of his mons. Well, I don't know why I say her, but we took out three of his mons. We took out two of the rat boots, and then I think one Machoke, and then we paralyzed the another Pokemon. So not bad, not bad. Tweaky. So going back into Tweaky here, Tweaky, Tweaky, Thicky, Weaky. We're gonna get a little bit of uh, water damage there. Lower the special defense. Interesting. I never thought I was gonna get a special defense drop. We're gonna go for a U turn. U turn should take it down. Since we got that de uh, defense or special defense drop. Ooh, decided to swap out. Decided to swap out. We're gonna go and still use the U turn. Um. U turn shit take out? No, it does not take out the Rabu. Okay. I was kind of hoping that Rabu would have got taken out by that U turn, but that's not the case. That is not the case, my guy. That's not the case. So we're going to go into Alex the Machop. Chop, chop. So um, we're going to go for a rock slide. Hoping that we can land the rock slide. I hope we can land the rock slide. I'll be upset if I don't land this rock slide, especially if this Pokemon does use Valve. I'm hoping to get a rock slide off. I'm just hoping to land this rock slide. Oh, darn, darn. That is that is terrible. That is terrible. Um, we're gonna go into. Ancient gear, because that's my point. Uses to figure out what I could do next is definitely go for ancient gear. Let ancient gear take that damage because it could take a damage like a boss. Uh, we got paralyzed, which kind of sucks, but doesn't automatically suck because 
If we can survive this heat wave and I will the land a hit. We're Gucci. Yeah, we're Gucci. All right. So now we're paralyzed, which is not all that bad. We already took out most of this fire type Pokemon. So we're good. Drizzle. Oh no, Drizzy, Drizzle. Um, now my, my, my situation here with Drizzle is uh, if I can land a para, that's awesome. I know this Pokemon is faster than me. I'm hoping this Pokemon would miss the Mud Shot. Does not miss the Mud Shot. Was able to KO the Ancient Gear. That kind of unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate. Um, we're gonna go into Otto, our Galar champion here, our starter mon that we use when we completed the game. Nah, it's not the original. It's just a baby. It was just a baby. But hey, we like uh, we like our starter. So um, he's gonna go ahead and lead off with his. Um, I'm gonna go definitely straight up for a Whithammer anyway. It's gonna do a pretty amount of damage. It's gonna do a decently good amount of damage. Um, we're gonna taunt him because I know he's gonna go for a taunt. So we're gonna go for a taunt as well. He's probably gonna go for a drain punch. He's paralyzed. He can't move. Oh no. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Since he's taunted, we're gonna swap out. Since he's taunted, we're gonna swap out. We're gonna swap out into Alex. He's paralyzed. We outspeed. There's nothing that. Uh, his Pokemon could do to Alex, so that's good. He's gonna go for the Drain Punch. He does land the Drain Punch. It does decent amount of damage, not enough to really take out Alex, so that's a plus. But now we get a little bit of chip damage from the poison. We're gonna go straight into Facade. Facade his mind out. They just gonna Facade his mind out. And then uh, the next Pokemon, the last Pokemon that he has to bring in, will pretty much get KO'd, I'm pretty sure, from a facade poisoned Machoke. Alex the Machoke. MVP, MVP, Alex the Machoke. Alright, so here we go. He's going to bring in his last Mon. And that's his Drizzle. The only Pokemon that haven't gotten damage taken or paralyzed or any crippled at all during this whole entire match. And now he's about to probably get one shotted by a poisoned Machoke with uh Ooh 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 survive on twelve facade comes out Damage, damage, damage. GG, sir. GG. We won that one. GG. Uh, man, these these matches, man. I tell you, these are like close matches that I've been having with this guy. Uh, it's always the smart play to like figure out that stuff again. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys. Uh, I'll try to do a regular gym team. I'll try to like figure out how I'm gonna do it and whatnot. Definitely hit the like, subscribe, and comment, guys, because I really want to know if you know this guys know these particular name of these teams. Um, but yeah, peace out.